For those of you not wall mounting your TV, which apparently is quite a few of you, a sound base makes a sensible alternative to a sound bar. Sound bars can be a little bulky, they'll cover up part of the TV screen and maybe even block your remote. So why aren't these things flying off store shelves? Well, frankly, I think it's because the sound bases we've seen so far haven't been all that great. That changes now that Sonos is in the game, introducing the Sonos Playbase. As you can tell, this is an extremely low profile sound base. It's just over two inches tall, and that made it really challenging for Sonos to integrate a subwoofer. We'll get to that in a second. What you can't really see behind this micro perforated speaker screen are six mid-range drivers, three tweeters, and one subwoofer. Each gets its own individual digital amplifier, so that's 10 digital amps in total. Around back, you'll see three ports, and you're probably only gonna need to use two of them. One is for the power cable, and the other is for an optical digital audio cable. Setup is so simple, it's almost not worth talking about. Once you've plugged the Playbase into the wall and you've connected it to your TV, you simply load the Sonos app and it's automatically gonna find the speakers in your system. In this case, we've added a couple of Play Ones for surrounds and you're connected in seconds. Since it's a Sonos product, you're gonna control it with your phone or tablet. Uh, I've got it loaded up on an iPhone right here. Um, the media room is what we have set up. That's the Sonos Playbase plus two Play One surrounds. We can add different musical services if we want to. I've got Spotify on here, but Amazon, audiobooks, uh, all kinds of different stuff available here. But really, you're gonna be using this for TV primarily. So if we pull that up, we've got a couple of different options. Volume is immediately accessible at the bottom. We can turn on night listening mode, which uh, reduces the bass and compresses the dynamic range so you don't have those sudden loud explosions. There's also a dialogue enhancement feature. But let's pop into the settings really quick because I think that's what shows the most. Here is where you control your Sonos system. You can add a subwoofer, which might uh, reinforce the bass a little bit for another $700. Um, you can add a boost or a bridge. If you have a whole home audio system, you might want to integrate that as well. But for the play bass, you're going to spend most of your time in room settings. So we'll pick our media room system here. You'll see true play tuning up at the top. We've got it turned on because we've already done the process. This is where it emits some sounds while you walk around the room waving your phone around. And it does a really interesting job. We'll talk about that later. You also have basic EQ settings so you can adjust bass and treble controls and uh, turn on the loudness for an added little bass boost. Not a ton of control there, but enough. If you have a lip sync problem, you can adjust that here, or if you wanna adjust the surround level, the TV level or the music level, you can do that here. So it's Sonos, it's simple, we get that, but how does it sound? Well, for TV and movies, it sounds excellent. Definitely the best sound base that we've tested thus far. There's a little bit of a sheen in the treble that sounds a little artificial, but the bass is surprisingly forceful with this thing. And the mid-range is also surprisingly open and clear considering we're talking about such small drivers. That's Sonos engineering at work. They have a really great digital sound processing system, and that works here with the Playbase for TV and movies. For music, I'm a little less enthusiastic. It does sound good, but it doesn't sound as good as a pair of, say, the Play Ones for music. However, if you fold in those Play Ones as surround for the music experience, you get a whole home music listening experience that I think a lot of folks are going to enjoy. It's simulated surround, but it really works. I definitely do recommend that you use the True Play EQ tuning system. It made a big difference in this room and in other rooms that we tested it. If there are any drawbacks to the Sonos Playbase, I'd say one of them is that it only has one optical input. That keeps things simple, sure, but it also means that it's a slave to however good your TV's audio output capabilities are. If your TV can put out Dolby Digital, great, but if it can't, Sonos is always gonna have to make something out of a basic stereo signal. $700 is kind of a lot for a sound bar or a sound base, but with it, you get Sonos's capability, and that means you can add surround speakers, add a sub, it becomes part of your whole home audio system. So if you're a Sonos fan, the Playbase makes a whole lot of sense. Overall though, I gotta say, this is a great product. It might be a little pricey, but you definitely get what you pay for.